There we go. But now that we're in combat, gotta let that go off. Caught a 51 and a half K. Woo! There we go. Caught a 51 and a half K. Woo! Alrighty, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Cyberpunk. Uh, so this is a different video because uh, I did a video like this previously on my channel. But this is my new Cyberpunk Netrunner slash Monowire build. Uh. <laughs> So yeah, this is actually a pretty cool build. Been enjoying it. Uh, one second. So, this build is made, as far as I know, it's made by Build Maker Monk, Build Maker Baby. <laughs> so shout out to him for this. It's a pretty freaking awesome build, actually. I had to build so much of this, but without the mono wire, and it wasn't really that powerful for some reason. I don't know what I did wrong. Anyways, the gears just trash, you know. Uh, nothing special. Obviously, I'm not 50, so I'm not really worried about the gear yet. But the the face thingy, glasses, is crit damage. And I believe, yeah, pants are crit damage. And then the boots are bonus damage to high threat enemies. I'm not really sure what this means in the game. I don't know why I can't figure out what this means. But I feel like high threat means enemies that are your level or enemies that are a higher threat such as like uh cyper psychos or like bosses or stuff like that it's one of those two so yeah like i said these are just trash now cyberware we are using the tetranonic ripper rippler mark IV. uh mainly we're using this for upload speed and reduced cooldown it is actually quite ridiculous actually the upload time Especially when you have like your build fully like maxed out. But anyways, we're just using the basic stuff that you would normally use. You know, ping. We got uh, reboot optics to blind enemies, which is pretty useful because this build will get one shot if you, uh, you know, <laughs> if you get seen. And then cripple movement, which is pretty awesome, helps for the to sustain enemies to keep them in one place while you're casting, you know, contagion or something. And that's our next thing, contagion. Contagion, by the way, is kind of our main skill but not I mean I could just pop this on a group of enemies run in there and just smack them with my mono wire because they're already rooted to the ground they can't shoot me they can't move they can't do anything so you could pop this and then pop contagion or just pop contagion run in there and just do whatever because they're already puking so it's not really a big deal and then short circuit uh, this ability right here confuses the living shit out of me okay this ability has High damage. Also, if you land a crit with a gun on an enemy, it procs a like EMP kind of thing, like a short circuit on the target, which is pretty freaking cool. But look at the damage on my short circuit. It's like barely 8,000. I've seen YouTubers where their short circuit is like over 10,000. And I don't understand. I don't understand that. <laughs> I'm assuming I just keep leveling up. I don't fucking know. Anyways, it's a good ability. I use um, system reset sometimes because it can reset three enemies at a time, I believe. I think it might be two enemies, but it's really, really useful. And it will literally uh, paralyze, technically kill them instantly. Like, does, not instantly, but like, it'll pretty much kill them without... A level cap like you could do it to any level you can't do it to super uh, super psych not super psychos dude jesus you can't do it to cyber psychos or actual bosses but it is definitely really useful and burn is pretty good um you can pretty much i mean you, you can kind of use whatever you want memory wipe is really good i haven't used it yet but yeah this is uh the cyber deck build part of it 
Um, and then Cyberwea. We're using Memory Boost, obviously to recover three RAM per kill. Apparently there's a purple one of this, because I saw it on a YouTube video. I have yet to find the purple one. Um, I don't know where to get it. Anyways, it's only one extra RAM recovered. It's not really a big deal, but it's, you know, to mid-max character. And then the Limbic System Enhancement for increased crit chance. Very useful. This is pretty much used in like every build. It doesn't matter what builds you play. It's just really nice to have that extra crit chance. And then Visual Cortex Support, same thing. Crit damage, it's nice to have the crit damage in every build. It's just useful. And then we also got the Kuroshi Mark III Purple Optics. I haven't even bought any of these. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but we got the Inductor, which is really useful. I think this is pretty much used in almost every build as well. Uh, when affected by shock and EMP, armor increases by 50% instead of taking damage, which also applies with this heat converter. When affected by burn, instead of receiving damage, you deal 10% more damage, which is pretty awesome, because I think the 10% more damage stacks with your hack damage, but also gun damage, unless it's only gun and maybe melee. So it's really useful for quite a few builds. <laughs> And then we got Pain Editor, which I always thought was a funny word in this game, like a funny <laughs> reduced all incoming damage by 10%, which is a really nice. And I think there's a blue or purple one of this, I think. Same with this. I just haven't found them, and they're probably not even worth the money. But increase mutagen chance by 2% and mutagen strength by 10. So the Neo Fiber. The Synaptic Accelerator slows time by 30% for 2 seconds when spotted, when detected. That's actually really useful. I've been using this a lot because if I'm running around and someone behind me sees me and I get spotted, I can turn around and pop a hack on them. And they might see me by the time the hack goes off, but by the time it goes off, they're already hacked. So technically, I hacked them before I got caught, which means I still have full damage. You know what I mean? Or I can turn around and be like, oh shit, and then, you know, run into cover or go invisible or something. So it's pretty, it's really, really useful. Uh, we got Optic Camo, obviously, because it's really fun to use. <laughs> and it's good for the build. And then uh, Subnerval Armor. Subdermal, not Subnerval. <laughs> it increases armor by 300. This is really good for a lot of builds who are usually squishy, like mine, or Katana builds who are usually up in combat, like up in people's faces. And then we got Titanium Bones for armor, or not armor, but carry capacity. You probably don't, I don't actually use this for the build. Same with uh, the microwave, the micro bracian. We don't use either one of these in the build. I'm just using them for the time being until I, you know, find the parts. Um, but yeah, the build for this the build video for this build will be in the description below because I also I followed his build obviously didn't go into here we got the legendary mono wire um, so here there's a few options for here because th you start with uh, the mono wire physical damage he recommended thermal for like early game but I'm still using thermal <laughs> uh, but I might have to swap over to electrical because of robots and like robotic enemies, like people kind of robots. And maybe some cyber psychos, so maybe electric is better for late game, but thermal's definitely really good for early game because there's more humans, there's not as many robots. So I think it's time for me to swap over to electrical. Um, but also mono wire battery, the high capacity purple, you actually want this. I don't think there's no other higher mod for this. So you want the high, the high capacity one which is purple for 50% charge damage. And then there's two versions of the sensory amplifier. There's a crit chance for 2% and there's a crit multi for 2%, I think, or 4%. So that's kind of like a personal preference. I wanted a crit chance. Uh, and then legs. <laughs> legs are pretty much personal preference as well. You can have whatever ones you want. Um, as far as the character tree, you know, 20 cool, 20 intelligence, 18 reflex, and that's pretty much it. So, when I started the build, 
I went six cool, six intelligence, and five reflex, I think. And that's pretty much how the build started. <laughs> so in Nujitsu, just your basic stealth, you know. Nothing crazy. Detection, uh, you know, crit chance while in combat, and then crit chance while sneaking, and then increased movement speed, increased damage to humans. Uh, you know, your poison thingy. Just basic stuff. Cold blood, defensive, some other stuff. Uh, nothing crazy. And then all... Uh, and then all your quick hacks, your breach protocols, I mean. We didn't go into everything in here in quick hacking like you normally would. Don't really need to because like we're... Like I said, we're kind of mixing this build of mono wire and quick hacks. So we don't need everything. Uh, by the way... You could probably play this build with technical, but I wouldn't try it because you kind of need the hacks and you need the cool. I mean, if anything, you could probably have cool at 18, but then you wouldn't be able to use mono wire. Well, I mean, like if you didn't have reflexes, you couldn't use mono wire. But here we are in the blades and reflexes, all of the, the damage you need. Attack speed, uh, they do 30% more damage to strong attacks, which is actually pretty useful. Reduce stamina cost. Defensive attack was a bit awkward, because <laughs> when you block and then melee at the same time, so you block and then uh, melee, it does 150% more damage. So effectively, blocking and then using your, your mono wire attack is actually more powerful than uh, your actual strong attack. <laughs> but it's really good because you can block attacks anyways, blah blah. And then crit chance by 10%, all kinds of just crazy stuff. And that's pretty much all we went to. Anyways, enough of the build. So we're at a cyber psycho to see what we can do for damage. Uh, and by the way, I totally just wrote over that. That was, that was pretty bad. I think. Because I deleted my other main character. <laughs> I was a bit scared there for a second, dude. So now we're in combat, which means we should have 40% crit chance because of my build. Because I'm already at 22% crit chance plus the 20 you get from entering combat. So that should put me at 40 plus. Um. But yeah. Let's just go with this one, I guess. Actually, let's go with... The game doesn't really give me, like, a lot of options in terms of, like, my... Dude, I'm so freaking slow with this, dude. But now that we're in combat, gotta let that go off. There we go. 34k crit, I think. So, there's that. Let's see if I can actually hit a crit with this build. Because <laughs> I, I know I can hit a crit. But yeah, that's pretty much what the build can do in combat. But if you like, if you actually get lucky and you actually stack the crit, it can be pretty insane so let's play this the smart way let's just get rid of him i don't know where the boss is i think he was in the garage or something um Let's go with E9 or not. I hate doing these, dude. God, these are annoying. 
it's whatever I completed that though. Well, there it is. I pretty much one-shot the the boss. He had like 2% health left. I don't know what the damage was. I'll have to go back in the recording, but it one-shot him pretty much. He only had 2% health. So it hit him pretty hard. Because I would assume to one-shot him, it's going to be over 30,000 damage. Kind of, kind of sucks. I missed uh, how much it was to actually like do damage to him. Fucking robots, man. Okay. Anyways, that's this build. Let's go. Uh, Show off some of the well there's the slow-mo in action <laughs> but yeah let's go show off some actual combat I'll see you guys if I can find some harder enemies see you guys in a second Made it to a gig, not too far down the road, but these enemies are my level. As you can see, they're yellow. So this will show you like what the build can really do. And I'm 45, like I said. Uh, stats, 29% and 98 crit. I don't know why my crit's lower than it's supposed to be, because I'm pretty sure it was 109. My crit's higher, which is kind of nice. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened here. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Anyways, here is the build. So, in terms of how we're going to do this, I actually went stealth. I don't know where the fuck the, <laughs> the game's trying to tell me. So, Mainly these two, but all three of them are pretty useful. And I hate doing these, dude. I freaking suck at these, dude. I'm not even kidding. Cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you fucking stop? We could pop these. Or... I 
I'm so sloppy at doing this, dude. Like. There we go. Sorry, I'm sloppy at this, but this is kind of how I usually play the game. Caught a 51 and a half K. Woo! Now I gotta remember how to get up there. <laughs> like everyone in the network is already hacked, so all of my damage is max damage because of the resistance buff high. And there's the blind. He got blind because he spotted me. Get some mono wire action up in here. I think that's everybody, right? Contagion looked like it took out most of the people. I feel like there's one more person, but I don't. My crits are usually around 10k, as you can see. That was like 7600 plus my offhand, because I swing twice. Like that. But yeah, uh, this is the build. Yeah, there's no one else. But yeah, this is the build. It's definitely pretty damn fun. And like I said, shout out to Build Maker Baby, because he made this build. And there's probably there's builds similar to this obviously or builds like this but his build was very very in depth and just ah it was really really good and easy to follow like he told you exactly what talents to go into early on he told you you know what to go into when you respec your character he told you what cyberware you should buy and where to get them i don't think he told you where to get all of them but he told you where to get um you know the ones that are really important or whatever, but yeah, just a really good video. Definitely awesome, so. Yeah, this is the build. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I've already played the build before. A build similar to this, obviously. But, it's definitely a fun build. You just run around, hack and slash, or you just hack the shit out of people. Because you can do a lot of damage. No sound effects. Sick. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching.